Janigal, Jeffy to the Heart's Future. Hello, welcome back. Now this is important. Um, for those who are skinny, like myself, let me tell you a story. I was in the Savoy today and I decided I'm going to weigh myself and guess what? I weighed nine stone. Yeah. And that was a huge real reality check. Um, have you ever been addicted to exercising? Specifically walking? Well, I came up with a theory where it's, what it's called SMF theory. And this theory that I proposed to myself was the theory that in a triangular, um, a triangular web, you need to be here in the centre, between muscle, uh, shape and space, um, and fat. Well, as you technically you should say muscle is um, shape, but space is like how, how much, you know, um, less fat you get. But the point is, I'm trying to make is the amount of vacuum that I could have filled, it, it needed to go into nutrition. But here was the problem that I had. And this, this is perceptive. The problem I visualised, no, not visualised, well, actually, a perception was the problem. I thought if I was skinny, I'd be healthy and fit. But I'm just as worse. I'm going to be honest. Being skinny isn't something to be all proud of. And the reason for this is because if you're addicted to exercising <laughs> then that'll lead you to burning calories. Now don't get me wrong, I'm still pretty strong. I can lift four bags and more and three kilograms of dumbbells. However, I do not gain much weight. So that is why I'm going to gain about for the next year but I will check up in six months to make sure that I gain I would say four pounds more than I originally am. Nine pounds is light. I'm, I am underweight that's all I'm saying. I shouldn't excessively exercise. I've set myself an imbalance because of my wrong perception. And as a start, I'm going to be eating more and exercising less. I just need to change my perception about exercising. See, because exercising isn't all, it's not all that good for you, if you think about it. It's like eating junk food and fatty foods that makes you, make you overweight and weak. People can be overweight and strong because they've got more muscle than others that are fat. And same for skinny people. But you want to be in the centre. You want to be just right. Because if you weigh the normal the, the normal average weight, then you're not skinny nor fat. You're just right. You've got some fat, you've got some space in your body where you're able to take in a good a good portion of food which makes you um would say it makes you right in shape um but i mean my theory may be wrong but let me tell you something on why i perceive this it's because balance is all that matters but here's the thing right about imbalance imbalance and I, I never realised this until my mum pointed out. I've set myself an imbalance throughout my entire life. 
based on based on the fact that if your arm's skinny, then it'll fit. No, it does not make you fit. It just means that you're eating less calories. That's what it means. It's like if you overwork, then you're gonna lead yourself to health complications, um, and fat and skinny. I'm just thinking this also theoretically because it should add up, should connect. There, there has to be a line to draw when you're skinny, muscular, or fat. Um, and the fact that, the fact is this, right? Muscle and fat aren't the same. And um, how I would describe muscle is you have a bunch of fibres that support your functionality around the human body. But you can let me know if I'm wrong because I'm no biologist, right? And then you have fat, which is based on storing vitamins. See, you can look it up, Google it. Why muscle and fat aren't the same? I'll give you a, a few seconds to do that. Come on, Google it. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah. But yeah. It's... It's scary. Imagine my wee brother weighed more than me. Imagine that. I need to step up the game. It's dangerous to play the game of imbalance. It's not just about ideologies. It's also about your well-being. Um, it's also about how you perceive things in terms of relationships. Like you don't want to be hanging around with two very nice people. At the same time, you want to be hanging around with toxic people. Look, nice people will ask some, maybe ask for something in return, or they're just obsessive over you. You got to have people that set your boundaries. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that came out of nowhere. But anyway, yeah, it's true. It's true. Muscle and fat aren't the same. That's why I've got these. I've got the muscle that I need to pick up basic things. But I mean, I've not got a six pack. I'm far from that. I don't, I'm not feeding enough to myself as it is. And it's just sad to see that children over at Yemen are suffering. And when you look at their bodies, their, their ribs are shown. That's how scary it is. People are going to go walk around scot-free with ribs shown. Well, I'm sorry, my friend, but that's concerning. Very concerning. I don't think I can even discuss the lies that the society has told you um, because when you're skinny you should go see a doctor if I'm going to do what I'm going to do for now and just eat more now obviously that's not going to fill me up I'm going to eat much more now bear in mind it should be high in protein minerals and vitamins not junk food. Do you hear me? Not junk food. Why?
because it's low nutritional to eat junk food. Have you ever heard of saturated fat and normal fat? Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason for that. But um, I haven't really looked it up a lot. But I, I know that they're similar but different. See, junk food is different from normal food because it's it's processed and it's cheap. I will talk about that. Why high quality foods like high in protein foods, vitamins and mineral foods are much more expensive than those that are junk food, low nutritional or no nutrition at all. I'll talk about that in the next video, but just so you know, I'm part of the self improvement community. I'm not feeding them. I'm not feeding myself enough. I've got to bull. I said bull for God's sake. Um, like I was saying, I'm going to boost up my eating routine. I'm not going to exercise because I know for a fact that burns calories, and I need the fat in me, right? In order for myself to work efficiently, I'm gonna need to stop exercising for a while because I'm in the imbalance so I'm gonna need to even that out by sticking to one side at the moment and then once I've got the perfect position then I'll start exercising again but just moderately. At the same time I'll eat more. See because I'm gonna use my big appetite to my advantage I've conditioned myself over the years that I shouldn't be eating much. I've conditioned myself and I need to get out of that mentality because well they're just dangerous delusions the lies you can hold. It, 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 you skinny doesn't technically make you fit it just makes you like a twig. You can't get a six pack you, you, you can't get a six pack if you don't feed enough in yourself naturally and please man i don't know what it what it is with those electric apps but i'm starting to feel a bit skeptical of them but if you want to take the risk and and try them then we'll be, feel free to go ahead but th it's going to end, this is going to end today's video guys I, this is uncut the reason for this is because i can't be bothered editing it out ed editing it out so just take a few that in, please. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.